Hi, I'm Martin Irvine, the founding director of Georgetown's Graduate Program in Communication, Culture, and Technology, or CCT. I've been a professor at Georgetown for over 25 years now, and for most of the time, I've been involved in internet technologies and in research, theory, and teaching in media and communication. I am also interested in all forms of digital technology and creative media, like art and music. I'm interested in a wide range of topics, from digital media to the study of communication and computation to contemporary art, music, remix culture. I feel equally at home talking about how to create a mobile app or a website, the Internet of Things, ancient manuscripts, and what cognitive science is telling us about human symbolic thought and technology, or about all the great creative things happening today in art and music. I don't have the usual profile for technology studies, if there is one, but my interdisciplinary background prepared me for a lot of what's happening today in technology and media that I couldn't have possibly imagined when I was in grad school. I did my PhD at Harvard and specialized in languages and literature, ancient and modern, in linguistics, in semiotics, and philosophy of language. And I've always been fascinated by language, code, methods of representation, methods of interpretation, and how cultures create their meaning systems symbolically. Now, a big breakthrough happened for me when I began writing my dissertation in the early 1980s. A friend of mine who was working in Ray Kurzweil's lab on speech recognition told me I needed to learn computing and write my dissertation on a computer. And he'd rent me some time on his office system. So I dove in and learned Unix, a little C programming, and something clicked. After years of Greek, Latin, Old English, modern languages, and recalling what I knew in math, computation seemed doable. I mean, not easy, but not scary either. I didn't know it at the time, but I was the first liberal arts PhD at Harvard to write a dissertation on a computer. So my academic career began with these two parallel paths, language, literature, philosophy, semiotics, theories of interpretation, and computing. And then the internet really changed everything. I, I learned how to use the internet in 1988, and then I set up the first website at Georgetown in 1993. I learned how to develop my own web content, and in 1995, after working with the university and lots of technology initiatives, I was asked to help start a new interdisciplinary graduate program devoted to communication, media, and information in the context of the internet and the digital environment. And CCT began with its first class of students in 1996. For 19 years, we've been developing a distinctive interdisciplinary approach and this course is a kind of synthesis of the multidisciplinary ways of thinking that I use in my research, teaching, and publications. I'm working on a book that develops some of the ideas in this course in greater detail. Learning computing taught me to never think you can't learn something or that some fields aren't for you. I've always been motivated to see the big picture, how things connect, and, and dive in to learn the fields that converge around a complex problem. And the background for this course is a great motivator for developing this way of thinking. This course is for non-technical people who want to understand important concepts behind all the major technologies that define our lives today. You don't need to be an engineer or a computer science major to get these concepts. And the more you learn, the more you'll be able to participate and even think about new applications that you can develop in areas that you care about.